Hey folks, Sylvia's here. Back on Galactic Civ. There we go. Uh, yeah, so... This... God, I don't even know what set of turns this is. Whatever set of this turns is, the last set of ten turns, the game crashed on me in the middle of it, and I had to redo it. So I guess this is 261 to 270. So last time, 251 to 260 crashed on me. Um... Then I started doing this video earlier, and uh, this one crashed on me. So, I'm not having a lot of luck with um, Galactic Sliv these days. Mm. What looks tasty? By the way, if you can hear me clinking around, I'm eating a Jolly Rancher. I apologize, but it's tasty. Maybe economic focus? Trade economy? Diplomatic trade value? Ugh, they all suck. Mm. None of those really look uh, that great. <sighs> Let's get carriers. I'm interested in what they actually do. Alright, where's my actual anti... Oh, I've got two fleets on top of each other here? Alright. I'm gonna have a second fleet form up um, at my star base here. I'm a little confused. Oh, Hyperion logistics system. Okay, I'm not confused anymore. I was wondering how I could have five ships and have 24 logistics used, because that doesn't really make sense. For obvious reasons. Deep Space Starbase 1 is located here. It's mostly out of the danger zone. I'm gonna throw the shield generator on it just in case, but yeah, it's mostly out of the danger zone. Now, Ellen Y. This is very out of the danger zone. Sector scanners and advanced starbase defenses. I'm not gonna send any additional ones over here. Zephlum Starbase. Zephlum Starbase, I want as many weapons upgrades as possible. Barriers and sensors. Pinra Starbase. Pinra Starbase is in the danger zone. However, I have other more important things. Alright. Send that from Daijutsi. And we've got a Connie ship coming out of Irlia. Now, I really don't want to do this. Ah, there we go. It's panicking for a second. I don't want to do this, but I'm thinking every three turns, I might save, end the video, and immediately restart. And then when I'm done, I'll edit them all together, just in case there's another crash. I don't know what interceptor drones are, but sure. I don't know what assault fighters are, but sure. Carrier combat will allow us to project force while keeping our capital ships out of danger. Fighters are a lot more replaceable, and there's no shortage of volunteers to fly them. Apparently, there's something glamorous about dying in a very small ship. It allows the construction of cheap and light interceptor drones. It allows the construction of cheap and light guardian drones. I don't know what any of those are. <laughs> Not at all. Force fields? Shield support systems? That's not necessarily a bad option. Hmm. I wonder. Sensor amplification, increase range, or miniaturize them. Let's go with range increase. I want this Zephlum Starbase to be as uh, upgraded as humanly possible. I'm also going to throw, right here, an Influence Starbase. 
because screw those guys. Also, I haven't made a um, influence star base yet, and I'm kind of interested in what they look like. All right, we got a colony ship. Can I colonize this one yet? Requires no. Okay. I'm almost done my Jolly Rancher, by the way. So you won't have to put up with my chewing. So I think at the end of this turn, just to play it safe, I will do what I said with, you know, save and restart the recording immediately. Command, guard, upgrade starbase. This is Amarami? Where are you located at? You are well out of the danger zone. The latest generation of nanoprocessors allow us to more rapidly process the massive volumes of information our sensors return, improving the overall effectiveness of our sensor systems. Well, that's fantastic, I suppose. Alright. That did uh, pop up a lot of things. I'm going to pick up logistics. I'm going to build a uh, colony here, and then builders all around. Idle ship. Send him over there. We've got an upgrade starbase. This is Deep Space Starbase 3. Okay. Resource sector and interceptors. I still don't really know what they are, or what they do. Alright, I'm gonna, you know, like I said, I'm gonna save here. Um... Because I do not want to just have to keep doing this. So one second here, I'm just going to restart the record. Okay, so we're probably in. Um, turn. It's a hassle that I have to do that, but it's whatever. And it's not that much extra work. I still prefer to not do it, of course. Not your turn. Not my turn! Turn your face in. Construct Starbase. Bam. <laughs> Up yours. Alright, so this is going to be a culture ring. They used to be called Influence, just so you're aware. This is an interesting looking ring. And now it looks kind of just silly, but... Starbase defenses... Yeah, I mean, that's going to need to be fully loaded out with as many weapons as humanly possible. My nice little freighter is making its uh, debut. Debut. In, uh, in one of the videos that ultimately, like, the game crashed and never got put up, I had sent one of the older model freighters over this area before I had... Um... So in the version that you saw, I ended up just scrapping... The, uh, the older model, older model freighters, um, and then making these new ones, but in before that had happened, I'd actually sent one out there to try to kind of find um, <clears throat> a planet, and instead I ran into a pirate-like fleet and got shot down. Scaling up our naval operations to include large multi-vessel fleets has created a number of additional logistical challenges, which we're only just now coming to grips with. We definitely... We'll definitely stop sending ships out without oxygen now, though. Well, that's good. It's great, I suppose. Alright, I don't think I need any more logistics for now. Um, let's pick up the hyper-warp drives. No, let's not pick up the hyper-warp drives. Change of plans. Maybe go in actual warfare. Force fields? Shield support systems? Let's get shield support systems. Alright, this fleet, again, is on guard duty. Shipyard Idol, Aurelia, Colony, Builders, Idol Ship, everything up here just needs so much work. <laughs> I don't trust the Altarians, I know war is going to break out sooner or later. At least I hope war breaks out sooner or later. Um, that's annoying. Ran out of move one move away. Alright.
How's this? Okay. That doesn't really need anything. I wish there was some way I could, like... Can I mark them somehow? I can request constructors. That's good. Constructors. That's not really what I was hoping for, though. Um, I considered declaring war on the Altarians myself. Um, ultimately, though, I'm not sure if that's a good move or not, because that could make everybody else more inclined to fight me. And while I think I got the Altarians probably beat in a war, mostly just because, you know, I'm focused entirely on beating the Altarians, uh, I'm not so sure that I'd be able to beat anybody else. This will be my first, uh, trade. With minimal ceremony, the first of your trading frigates pushes away from its slip. It will bring back with it a small portion of the galaxy's wealth, the first in what will surely be a long series of profitable exchanges for your people. We will see, I suppose. Also, they've got like a decent amount of uh, planets. Awesome. Upgrade Starbase. This is... Alkalaklin? Ah, this is my... Okay. This is my culture ring. Okay, you know what? This is kind of cool, actually. I like the look of this. Research. Advances in the focusing capabilities over shield generators have given us the ability to generate and augment shields at a distance. This should provide massive tactical and strategic options for our fleet operations. Alright. Engineering, maybe? Communications? Tourism, I don't want. Diplomatic trade value? Let's just go with that one. That is a good enough planet, but I think I can probably do better with one of these two. I hope. And not. How about this planet? You suck. Alright, just get over there. Yeah, you suck. Um, advanced starbase defenses, shield generators. So now these uh, starbases are kind of looking like actual fortresses. So what do we got going on in here? Uh, looks like we got nothing going on in here. So... Yeah, it kind of does look like we've got nothing going on in here, so research project. Idle colony. This is interesting, because the last time I went to make this video, the game crashed before we got this far. <laughs> so, uh, I didn't get to actually, like, in my last video, I didn't get to put any, uh, things down. What is that? Population and wealth. Population sounds good. Now, what's that one? Approval and wealth. Um, entertainment center. Did I build a preparedness center? No, I didn't build a preparedness center. And then we'll put a Xeno farm here. Is that that planet? Nataro? Okay. That's not a bad planet, to be honest. And Nataro has a very nice manufacturing base, so we're going to build a... Um, Shipyard. Viator. Doesn't really have that great of a manufacturing base. Or maybe it does. Alright. That's approval. We're gonna put a entertainment center there. Xeno farm. I really wish they didn't just like try to force the Xeno farms on me over here. Research lab, research lab, research lab, coordination center. Nice little planet there. Was that this planet? Yeah, this was this planet. So we're going to also build a starbase here. Um, shipyard, sorry, shipyard, not starbase. That's a good planet to set up trade relations with. 
idle ship. Now that's a colony ship, okay. I'm thinking maybe I should snag some of the uh, planets that they have around here. Eh, maybe I'll just let the humans have their territory and not butt in. Instead, I'll just try to land grab everything that's up here. Let's do that instead. Fortunately, my colony ships aren't quite as fast as I would like them to be. Class 4, barely habitable. Well, the Altarians can have that one if they want it. I sure don't. Look at that, the Altarians just have mining star bases in my territory. Although the Altarians, to be fair, might have had their star bases there before me. Idle ship. There we go. Trade route set up. Shipyard idle. Pinra. Where is Pinra? Wait, that's Pinra? Why is the shipyard called Ash? Maybe because I made it over there and moved it over here. That's still kind of weird, though. We're just going to go with builders. Alright. One of the last forgers, probably, that will ever be built. Look at that. Upgrade Starbase. Pinra Starbase. Starbase Laboratory. Recreation Center. I don't know, should I... Eh, I'll just go one more turn before I do my save and end video and repeat the process. What time is it? Oh god, it's 9 o'clock already. I gotta get ready for work. The Terran Alliance comes to you with an opportunity. The Iconian Refuge is dangerous and we would appreciate aid being rid of them. Declare war on them and we will give you the knowledge of shield miniaturization to aid in your fight. Uh... No. I do not want to have war with the Iconians. An economy with, which prioritizes external trading will be well suited to explore the markets of greater galactic community, or just exploit the greater galactic community in general. Good. We'll pick that one up. So, if I had to declare, like, War with the Altarians will probably happen at some point. The Iconians, though, also have a large list of territory that also borders me a lot. Um, as an upside, the area where they border me is close to where the Altarians border me, so I can kind of, like, pull fleets from both locations. Actually, before I do anything there, um, govern, maybe? Trade. Uh, I have four trade licenses, but I don't know how many ships I actually have. Uh, whatever. Deep Stay Starbase 2. What is this, a military starbase? Yeah, it is a military starbase. Doesn't really need additional upgrades. What about over here? Doesn't really need additional upgrades. Okay. Where else do I have some star bases? What about you? You could use a star base. Constructor. I don't know if I want to send two to him right away. What about this one? That one's good and doesn't need any help. What about Sigmatus? Sigmatus has a star base? Sigmatus has a starbase. Sigmatus might as oh God, look at all that Durantium that I'm not getting access to. Maybe I'll put a relic one over here to get those relics. Eh, that seems like a hassle. I wish there was a, a better way for me to kind of like, I don't know, draw things on the, the over map so I can kind of see what's going on a little bit better. Uh, approval relic I'm not super excited about. 
Daijutsu Starbase. Daijutsu is close enough, though, to um, the other races that I feel like I should be a little bit careful about it. Um, builders. There we go. Alright, you... Go to Daijutsu 1. I didn't even realize I had a star base here. When did that happen? Alright, let me do my little save here. Because again, I don't really trust the game. Save. Alright, I'm going to end and then reset. Alright, we are recording, I think? Good, we're recording. Alright, excellent. So, end the turn. Con eyes. Shelf. The primitive species that occupy this planet were once far more technologically advanced and accidentally ruined their civilization in some kind of nuclear war several hundred years ago. Ruined cities dot the planet and will likely contain valuable resources we could easily recycle. But in any regard, these ruins are sacred and insist we stay away from them. What are your orders? Um... We're not going to stomp through somebody's graveyard. We'll, of course, respect the dead of these people, declare their cities off-limits for development, and set aside one or two open-air museums so we can learn from these people's mistakes. We will work with the locals to determine the boundaries of the most sacred sites, but we'll excavate the recycled the rest. That's a real shame, and we'll promise to feel bad about it while we're throwing everything through the recyclers. I'll just go with that one. Well, this plan's kind of a dump. Like, huge dump. I'll buy that one out, right? Alright. What planet was that? God, yeah, what a dump. Probably need to get a star base set up around here, though. Winning the hearts and minds of both our people and our neighbors will make almost every aspect of running the civilization easier. It lacks some of the visceral appeal of a new type of mass driver, but may in the long run be far more effective. Tell me about it. Mass drivers are the way to go. Alright, let's pick up shield augmentation. Metal ship. There to Zephlum Starbase. Uh, idle ship. Get you to, uh, Iowakin Starbase. Wow, that was a fast turn. I only had two ships moving. Crazy. It's also awesome how those ships run out of movement directly in front of the place. It's my favorite part right now. No, not yet. Still not my turn. How about now? See, now I'm not. I'm not sure if the Iconians are actually going to make a move on me or not. I feel like whatever like way the computer uses to determine the like relative power um, has to be telling them that they might not be able to beat me at this point. Yeah, uh, where is the irresponsible starbase? Right, zero g gravity, orbital orbital replicators. Um, the same technology we use to generate shields at a distance can now be done with our barrier field systems, allowing for even greater improvement in fleet survivability. Uh, I don't really need any of those at the moment. Maybe something in engineering? Targeting assist? Hyper warp, I still don't want to really get. We'll get that one, though. Idol Connie, Daijutsu here. Um, research. Idle Colony. Firefly. Where is Firefly located? In the tail end of nowhere. Terraform planet. Alright, hold on. Let's start with the... Oh, I already used the good ones, I guess. Resequencing center. What do these do? Approval. That one? Habitat improvement? That one. So we'll put a, um... Because it'll probably be ultimately necessary to have an entertainment center there. Alright. So idle ship. Deep Space Starbase 1. Doesn't need anything. 
Yeah, I really wish I could, like, put a marker on the things that don't need work right now or something to kind of indicate what the situation is. I'll send you up here for now. You'll be my, uh, economy starbase for these two planets. Upgrade starbase. Daijutsu? Daijutsu wanted weapons. Because it's close to the, uh, Iconians. Colonize Hagen. A sudden increase in storm activity on this planet has dramatically increased the weathering of seals on your colony buildings. A new generation of self-healing seals will help minimize the damage, but replacing them all could be pretty, uh, expensive. What are your orders? Wow, these are all pretty unfortunate. Ugh, we're gonna go with the pragmatic one. Good thing we went with the pragmatic one. Because this planet has a, a lot of nice things going for it. Basic factory, basic factory, we're just gonna buy that one out, right? And then we'll see how things go. That did, however, go pretty well. Idle ship. You're not pirates, okay. Um, come on, Iconians, you gotta have another planet around here somewhere that I can call, I can trade with. God, you guys suck. All right, that looks promising. Very promising. Found their, uh, I found their what am I caught? Boost the speed of nearby ships. Field Augmenter. There we go. Research. Careful analysis of the way hyperfield waves interact when ships are traveling in formation has revealed the possibility of building larger field generators capable of increasing the drive efficiency of an entire fleet. Choose new research. I haven't done anything in colonization in a while. Maybe food distribution? Let's pick up food distribution. Titan, where are you located at? Also, kind of nowhere. Who's that? Terrans? The Terran? No, that's their initial survey ship. I was like, are the Terrans fielding um, missile weapons? That would be crazy. And not really good, either. It'd kind of be a problem. Preparedness center. Factory. Factory. Um... I'm actually going to leave that spot open <laughs> on the off chance that I eventually am able to get some kind of, like, Hyperion Shrinker or something like that. We will be able to build a star base at Titan, though. Aurelia gets a colony, and then builders. Idle ship. Do it. Um, shield generator, advanced starbase defenses. Aurelia starbase. Wow, Aurelia starbase actually needs upgrades. Surprising. Also, they're kind of close to the danger zone, and I feel like they should have more upgrades than what I'm even giving them at this point. Idle ship. Um, doesn't really need anything. Could use things. Right? Yeah, interstellar collectors it could use. Uh, interstellar collectors. That's it. Alright, and then we end this turn, and that's the end of things. See, so yeah, I'm not sure if the Altarians are actually going to declare war on me anymore, because they think they can't win. Which I kind of feel like is possibly the situation. Whoops, not what I meant to do. Oh, Jesus. Ah... Uh... That was what planet? <laughs> this one. Manage. Edit sponsors. There we go. Done. Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna end my video here. Things went well enough. Didn't crash on me again, which is nice. So yeah, like I said, I don't know if the Altarians are gonna declare on me. I mean, they're moving a whole bunch of ships into my territory. Like, look at this. I mean, some of them aren't huge. I mean, they definitely pale in comparison to my anti-Altarian fleet. But my anti-Altarian fleet is also one fleet. Man, do I gotta start making warships again? Are the Altarians really getting in my face about this again? 
Uh, it looks like we might have to get this going in. Well, that's for the future. So, yeah, I don't want to declare war on them myself. Uh, because I don't want to, like, give myself the reputation as a warmonger and make anybody else want to start taking pot shots at me. But the Altarians are definitely getting in my way. Anyway, people, uh, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, check me out on Patreon, Twitter, and Facebook. Um, furthermore, my videos are going up on Patreon without any of the formatting that I normally put on them a little bit earlier, maybe like a day or so. Um, I started a new job, and it's kind of beating my face in, and uh, everything is going slower because of that. So anyway, people, that's it. I'll see you guys later.